What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more of The Clash. Indeed, I did a reaction to Straight to Hell from this album, Combat Rock, 1982. A couple years ago, it was a long time ago, and I mentioned then, that is my favorite Clash tune, it remains the case, but there are so many other good tunes on this album, and I don't just mean the big hits that everybody knows, like Should I Stay or Should I Go or Rock the Casbah. We're going to listen to the opening track, Know Your Rights, I'm very fond of it, but it is a fair point to make that I think The Clash have been influential in a number of circles, certainly among punk rock groups that I'm very fond of, uh, but also pop music, ska music, they have a number, dub music, they definitely have different flavors to their catalog or discography, and this track I would put a bit more in the punk slash ska vein, certainly compared to something like Welcome to, or Welcome to Hell, which is a skate video, but straight to hell. In any case, we're going to listen to Know Your Rights, the opening track on Combat Rock, and it's one that has a very punk ethos to it, and lyrics that would fit very well, say, sung by the Subhumans or a number of other early 80s punk bands with a more political bent, but the song is saying, know your rights, and first of all, you have a right not to be murdered, which seems entirely fair, someone committing violence that is felonious and unwarranted, thus being not self-defense or accidental manslaughter, but actual murder, but it says, yeah, you have a right not to be murdered, unless, of course, the person perpetrating it is an agent of the state, be it a member of law enforcement or perhaps an aristocrat with great influence in whatever state it is. It says you have the right to free speech, as long as you don't actually try to use it. You have a right to food money, meaning if you're poor or you need uh, food from society, sure, you can probably get that. You may have to deal with some investigation, some humiliation. You may be, you know, your life might be shaken upside down to see, you know, if you're really worthy of that food. So it's a song that speaks to people's rights, but does so in a critical, sarcastic way, reflecting the more dark and brutal realities, especially for people on the margins of society. So. There's a lot going on in terms of the the cheek or the the irony of the lyrics, but it is, as I said, a sort of ska-like tune with a bit of a punk ethos, so let's hear it. This is Know Your Rights by The Clash, the first tune on Combat Rock, 1982. This is a public service!
Joe Strummer. Um, yeah, is one of my favorites. I still think the epic, emotional, and sad Straight to Hell is my favorite, but this one's right up there, very much in a different vein. And yeah, I love the cheekiness of the lyrics, again, unless, of course, you actually want to try to use your free speech, or as long as you don't mind being harassed and investigated and embarrassed and so on, uh, and as long as, you know, you're not killed by a cop or an aristocrat, someone who probably will get away with it, either through just a lack of charges or the court system's sympathy. So, yeah, I like the, the ethos of the tune. It fits very much, again, into lyrics that could be from a lot of the early 80s punk bands I like. So, as I said, I'm aware that The Clash are very influential, including in punk rock circles. So, despite the fact that some of the bands I'm thinking of have albums, you know, before this one, and of course The Clash do as well, um, yeah, this could very much be a Dead Kennedys tune, or, as I said, a Subhumans track. So, big shout out to The Clash, RIP to Joe Strummer. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.